graphing linear equations. In this video, we're going to do some more graphing and we're going to learn how to use the point slope form with me, Catherine. What exactly are we going to do today? Well, we're going to graph when given a point and a slope. Then we're going to find the equation of a line given a point and a slope. That's using the point slope form. Finally, we're going to find the equation of a line given two points. Once again, that's the point slope form. So let's get started. Graph the line through the given point with the given slope. No problem. The first thing we need to do is graph the ordered pair 4, 6. There we go, 4, 6. Then you're going to put your pencil on the point. This is really important. So here's my pencil on the point. The next thing we need to do is count the rise over the run. Remember, that's my slope. My slope is negative 1 half. Now, if you remember from the previous video where we were talking about slope, if we remember the videos about the slope, only one of the numbers gets a negative sign. And I like to put it in the top. So our slope is negative 1 over 2. Remember, rise over run. So what exactly am I going to do? I'm going to go down 1 and I'm going to run 2 from the point we just did, from 4, 6. Here's my pencil. I'm going to go down 1 and over 2. Yay! Down 1, over 2. Super! And then the last thing we have to do is draw the line. You're probably wondering why I haven't labeled the line. Well, we haven't learned how to create the equation from the point and the slope yet. That's coming up. Let's look at another one. This one, you're going to try. You're going to graph the line through the given point with the given slope. You're going to pause the video, graph it, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. The first thing you're supposed to do is graph the ordered pair, negative 3, negative 5. Perfect. Then you put your pencil on the point. This is super important. There's my pencil. Then we need to count the rise over the run. That's our slope. Our slope in this case is 2 thirds. That means rise over run. What exactly are we going to do? We're going to go up 2 and run 3 from the point we just did. So you can see my pencil. We're going to go up 2 and then run 1, 2, 3. And that's my next point. We're going to go from this point, we're going to go up 2 and run 1, 2, 3. And there's my next point. Now, all we have to do is draw our line. Let's practice another one. You're going to graph the line through the given point with the given slope. Pause the video, do it, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. The first thing we need to do is graph the ordered pair, negative 9, negative 4. Great. Then you're going to put your pencil on the point. There it is. Then we need to figure out the rise over the run. Well, in this case, our slope is 5. It's a whole number. Hopefully you remember, anytime we have a whole number and we write it as a fraction, we always put it over 1. And if you haven't noticed, the slope always has to be a fraction. Why? Because we need to figure out our rise over run. What exactly am I going to do? I'm going to go up 5 and then I'm going to go to the right 1. I'm going up because I'm going in the positive direction. I'm going to the right because once again I'm going in the positive direction. So let's do it. Here's my pencil. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and run 1. All right. Let's do it again. We're going to go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and run 1. Great! The last thing we have to do is draw our line. Perfect! Now that we know how to graph it, let's talk about the point slope form. First of all, the y and the x, these two, they're part of our answer, so we're not going to touch them. Those stay there. The y is going to be substituted from the ordered pair right here, the ordered pair from right here. 
and the x is going to be substituted from the x value in our ordered pair right here. And if you haven't guessed yet, the m is our slope. And that's whatever they give us for a slope. Then what we have to do is we're going to do some algebra. And from this formula, we're going to solve for y so that it looks like the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. Let's do a couple together. Find the equation of a line through the given point with the given slope. The first thing that I always do is I write out the point slope form or if I have any other formulas I need to know. The ordered pair is going to substitute in for x1 and y1. So let's do that first. I put 6 in for y1 and 1 in for x1. m, or our slope, is 2. And that's what I'm going to substitute next. So I put 2 in for m. Perfect. The next step is to distribute the slope. It's off a little, but I'm going to take 2 times x and then 2 times 1. This is what it's going to look like if we write it out. Next, I'm going to do some simplifying. 2 times 1 is 2, and then I could just have 2 times x or just 2x. My next step is to isolate the y variable by itself, and this is going to require some algebra. I want to get y by itself. So how do I get rid of a negative 6? Well, I'm going to add 6. Remember, I have to do it to both sides of the equation. That's going to give me y equals 2x plus 4. This is going to be my answer because it looks like y equals mx plus b. The equation of a line through the point 1, 6 with the slope of 2 is 2x plus 4. We just did it. Perfect. Let's do another one together. Find the equation of a line through the given point and the given slope. Once again, I wrote out my form. 4, 6 is our ordered pair. So 4 is the x and y is the 6. Once again, I'm going to substitute those in. The next thing we know is that our slope is negative 1 half. So let's put that in. My next step is to distribute. So I'm taking negative 1 half times x and then negative 1 half times 4. What's that going to look like? There we are. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to do some simplifying. Basically what I did was I took negative 1 half times 4, which is negative 2, but a negative negative is a positive, so that gives me positive 2. Next, we want to isolate the y variable by itself. Now this is going to require some algebra. What exactly do I want to do? Well, remember, I want to get the y by itself. So what's the opposite of subtracting 6? Yeah, it's adding 6, just like the last one. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation. Hopefully you notice that I'm putting like terms together. We end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 8. Since it looks like my slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we're done. The equation of a line through the point 4, 6 with a slope of negative 1 half is y equals negative 1 half x plus 8. We're going to try one more together and then you're going to have one to try by yourself. Find the equation of a line through the given point with the given slope. Once again you're going to notice I wrote out my form. My ordered pair is negative 3, negative 5, so that's my x1, y1. And I'm going to substitute that right away. Perfect. My slope is 2 thirds. They give that to us, so I'm going to substitute that in. My next step then is to distribute. So I'm going to take 2 thirds times x and then 2 thirds times negative 3. Here we have it. 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds times negative 3. I'm showing you I'm bringing my subtraction straight down. Perfect. Now we need to isolate the y variable by itself. This is going to require some algebra. Hopefully you're able to do this without me having to help you, but I did simplify the distributive part. 2 thirds times negative 3 is negative 2, and a negative negative is a positive, so that's how I got a positive 2. We need to get the y by itself, so the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of my equal sign. I end up with y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. Since it looks like my slope-intercept form, 
y equals mx plus b, I'm done. The equation of a line to the point negative 3, negative 5 with a slope of 2 thirds is y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. Now it's your turn to try. You're going to find the equation of the line through the given point with the given slope. Pause the video, find the equation, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. So here is our ordered pair. The first thing that I like to do is substitute the points. So we have negative 3 for y and 1 for um, x. Then I'm going to substitute my slope, perfect. I have to do the distributive property, so I'm going to take negative 4 times x and negative 4 times 1. All right, perfect. I need to get the y variable by itself, which means I have to do some algebra. Well, the first thing I did was I did some simplifying. I know that negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, and a negative negative is a positive, so that's how I get positive 4. To get y by itself, I need to subtract 3, because 3 minus 3 is 0, which leaves y by itself. But if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other side. That leaves us with y equals negative 4x plus 1. And guess what? Since it looks like our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we did it! The equation of the line through the point 1, negative 3, with a slope of negative 4, is y equals negative 4x plus 1. You did it! Here's another one to try. You're going to pause the video, find the equation, and then press play to check. Let's see how you did. First, here's my ordered pair. So y1 is going to be 3, and x1 is going to be negative 4. So that's the first thing that I substituted. They give us that the slope is 1 fourth, so I'm going to put that in there too. My next step is to distribute the slope. So I'm going to take 1 fourth times x, and then 1 fourth times negative 4. And that's what it's going to look like. The next step is to isolate the y variable by itself, and this is going to require some algebra. Well, the first thing I did is I did simplify. 1 fourth times negative 4 is negative 1. And a negative negative is a positive, so that's how I get positive 1. I need to get y by itself, so the opposite of subtracting is adding. That's why I added 3 to both sides of the equation. When I simplify it, I end up with y equals 1 fourth x plus 4. And guess what? That looks exactly like y equals mx plus b, and that's what we're looking for. The equation of a line through the point negative 4, 3 with a slope of 1 fourth is y equals 1 fourth x plus 4. Perfect! Here's the self quiz. You're going to pause the video, find the equation of the lines, then press play to check. Try not to look back. Let's check it. So for number one, hopefully you wrote out the form. I substituted in my x and y value and my slope, all at the same time. Then I distributed my 8 into x minus 2. I simplified. I'm going to add 7 to both sides because I have to get y by itself. So I end up with y equals 8x minus 9. The equation of a line through the point 2, 7 with a slope of 8 is y equals 8x minus 9. Let's look at the second quiz question. I wrote up my formula. I substituted the x, y, and slope. I did my distributive property. I simplified. Now I have to get y by itself. So the opposite of subtracting 1 is actually adding 1. It looks like I ended up with y equals 3 fifth x minus 2. What did you get? This is the answer. The equation of the line to the point 5, 1 with a slope of 3 fifths is y equals 3 fifths x minus 2. Great, but we're not done yet. For the first couple, we had a point and the slope. In these, we only have two points. So that means we need to figure out the slope before we can actually put it into our formula. 
find the equation of a line through the given points. Like I said, the first thing we need to do is find our slope. So here's x1, y1, x2, y2. Hopefully you remember the slope formula, and yep, you need to memorize it. I substituted in my y's and my x's. 6 minus 3 is 3, 2 minus a negative 4 is 6. We always have to reduce, so this gives me a half. Next, we're going to substitute points, and it doesn't matter which order pair you use because you're going to get the same equation in the end. For this one, I decided to use the point 2, 6. Here's my y value of 6, and here's my x value of 2. Next, we're going to substitute the slope, and now it's exactly like we've been doing. We're going to distribute the slope. Now I did not put in the arrows, so hopefully at this point you know how to do the distributive property. I'm going to isolate the y variable by itself, which is going to require some algebra. But the first thing I did, of course, is simplify. 1 half times 2 is 1, so we have the subtract. To get y by itself, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That leaves me with y equals 1 half x plus 5. And that's great, because it looks like y equals mx plus b. The equation of a line through the points, negative 4, 3, and 2, 6, is y equals 1 half x plus 5. So now it's your turn to try this one. You're going to pause the video, find the equation of the line through the given points, and then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. Hopefully you remember that the first thing we have to do is find the slope. So we have x1, y1, x2, y2, and that fits into our slope form. I substituted my numbers. Negative 1 minus a negative 9 is 8, and 3 minus a negative 1 is 4. Remember, we always have to simplify, and 8 over 4 turns out to be 2. That's going to be our slope. The next thing I did was I substituted the points. Now it doesn't matter which order pair you use. In this case, I decided to use the first one, negative 1, negative 9. Next, I substituted the slope, which is 2. We need to do the distributive property for the slope. Now we've done the distributive property a couple times. So hopefully you get 2x minus 2 times negative 1. And this is what I get when I simplify. Basically, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, but a negative negative is a positive. Our next step is to isolate the y variable by itself, and this is going to require some algebra. Remember, I want to get this by itself. So what's the opposite of adding 9? Yeah, subtracting 9. And I'm going to do it to both sides of the equal sign. That leaves me with y equals 2x minus 7. This is my answer because it looks like y equals mx plus b. The equation of the line through the points negative 1, negative 9 and 3, negative 1 is y equals 2x minus 7. Here's the self quiz. You're going to pause the video, find the equation of the two lines, and then press play to check. Let's see how you did. The first thing we have to do is figure out the slope. Did you remember to reduce? Yep, the slope is 3 fifths. Now, we're going to start to substitute. I substituted the x, the y, and the slope all at the same time. Now we're going to distribute the slope. We're going to do some simplifying. Perfect. And then, to get y by itself, I have to add 1 to both sides. Cool. That leaves me with y equals 3 fifths x minus 2. Since that looks like y equals mx plus b, guess what? The equation of the line through the points negative 5, negative 5, and 5, 1 is y equals 3 fifths x minus 2. Let's look at the second one. Once again, the first thing that I had to do was find the slope. That ended up being negative 3. Here's my point slope form. Then I substituted in an ordered pair and the slope. Remember, it doesn't matter which ordered pair you use. For this one, I decided to use the first one. Now we're going to distribute. Okay. Then we have to simplify. 
Next, we need to get y by itself, so the opposite of subtracting 2 is actually adding 2. It turns out we get y equals negative 3x minus 7. Since it looks like y equals mx plus b, the equation of the line through the points negative 3, 2 and negative 1, negative 4 is y equals negative 3x minus 7. Great! Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did talking about it. Don't forget to pin me to Pinterest. But remember, the only way to get good at graphing linear equations is to practice. Look in the description box below for links to free worksheets with solutions. Make sure to subscribe because you don't want to miss another episode. And thanks for watching.